Hello everybody and welcome back to the 2018 Granny Square Crochet Along. Um, this, uh, today we're going to be making this um, letter F square, F for February. Um, we had a J square for January and we've now got an F for February. Um, so it's going to be uh, made using these really cute little um, popcorn stitches which I will show you how to make. Can you see those little tiny bubbles there? Um, and single crochets and then it's got a half double crochet border. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I've done it all in one colour. You might want to do a different colour border. That's entirely up to you. Um, so... Um, Let's get started. Grab some yarn, grab your hook, and um, let's get started. Okay, so I've got my slip knot, and it's time to get started. So we're, we're working in um, in rows this time when we go back and forth along the rows. So we want to make a chain, and you want to make a chain of 23. Chain of 23. And when you've done your chain of 23, I will see you back. Pause the video and make a chain of 23. Okay, so my chain of 23. Now we're only going to be working into 22 of these, um, but we need to have one as our turning chain. Okay, so at the start, at the end of every row, we will do um, a chain one before we turn our work over. Okay, so then you need to um, you need to miss the first chain. So not this one on your hook, but this first chain here. You need to miss and go into the second chain from your hook and do a single crochet. And then you want to do a single crochet into the next. And you're going to work down and do 22 single crochets all the way along your chain. So this is going to be your foundation row. Okay, so 22 single crochets all the way along. And I will see you back when I've done those. Okay, so 22 single crochets along your chain and now as i said at the end of each row you want to do a single crochet and this is just for our turning chain so that we're at the, at the right height for our stitch to turn your work and then if you can see this very first stitch here so if you pull your chain um to the side this very first stitch here is where you're going to go into okay and that's your first stitch that's one and then go along two three and you want to do another 22 chains but sometimes if you're not used to working um oh, chain sorry single crochets if you're not used to working in rows like this the very last stitch can sometimes be a bit tricky. You've got these kind of knobbly bits going on. So do 21 and I will meet you back to do the 22nd um, single crochet together. Okay, so you've done 21. Now, when you do single crochet, it doesn't like to curl a bit, but by the time we've got the rest of our rows added on, it won't curl as much, okay? So don't worry about that. Now, you've done 21, and you can see this funny knobbly bit at the bottom here, and you know you've not finished because you've only done 21, and also you can see that you still have some of your row left. But where is that stitch? It can be a bit tricky, to identify now if you turn this over you should be able to see just here if I can show you this on camera just here there are two bars one two two bars there that is your stitch so what you need to do is um, as always wiggle your hook under those bars you might need to use your finger or a nail and just wiggle them under uh, we've got that hook under those two bars, so you should have two bars, there we go, on your hook from those uh, that stitch, okay? 
and that's your stitch this little bit at the end here this is your um, turning chain so don't go into that okay so into that one pull through and do your stitch she says there you go and then you can see now you've got a nice straight side so there's your second row 22 single crochets so do a chain one ready to turn turn your work and now you need to do two more rows a single crochet so another row 22 single crochets all the way along chain one turn your work and another row of 22 and i'll meet you back after two more rows so when you have completed your four rows of a single crochet it's time for us to start the pattern um, for our letter F so it is a lot of single crochets in this pattern single crochets and popcorn so there are going to be a lot of single crochets to do um, which means a lot of counting as well um, so you need to do, um, as always, um, your chain one to turn your row and then you need to do 14 single crochets. Now um, I'm just going to do those single crochets um, but I'm just going to remind you that up in the um, top right hand corner or just below depending on what device you're using um, you can slow the video right down and um, <clears throat> excuse me don't forget you can always um, pause um, catch up and rewind to repeat as well so we're going to do 14 single crochets along here so that's two three And this is now where the slightly more exciting stitch comes along. We're going to do a popcorn. <clears throat> now, a popcorn, we're going to do a four single crochet popcorn. Okay, so we're going to do um, a popcorn stitch, which involves four single crochets. So... Um, in the next stitch, you want to do four single crochets. Um, they're all separate stitches, but into the same stitch. Okay, so three and oops, four single crochets. And then just pull that loop up a little. Go back to your first single crochet. Now, if you're not quite sure which one it is, um, if it's got kind of caught up with the rest, you can just count back. So, can we see that on camera there? Is it going to focus? Um, auto focus is great, apart from when it doesn't focus. There we go. One, two, three, four. Pop your hook back into this first stitch. And then you're going to pop it back into your um, original loop. Pull that loop down. And then you're going to pull that loop through. Oops. We are going to pull that loop through. If it pops off the hook, well, we're just going to persuade it to go through. So we're going to pull that through there. Okay, pull that through there. And then we're going to do a chain one on top to close that stitch. And that is your popcorn stitch. Okay, there's your popcorn stitch. And then you're going to do the rest of the row. Um, of single crochets so go into the next stitch and all the way along working your single crochets just as you have on your previous rows and go all the way along okay so you finished your row and you've got your first little cute little popcorn stitch can you see it on camera there I don't know if you can see there we go you can see it from the top there if you haven't started working yours yet there we go okay so what you're going to do for this next row is you're going to do a whole row of single crochet so do your chain one and then crochet uh, 22 single crochets all the way back along 
just as you have in previous rows. So um, make your way along there, 22 single crochets. Don't forget this one in the top of your popcorn stitch. We take 22 single crochets all the way along and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, I've just stopped part way along my row just to mention about um, because we did the popcorn stitch and the chain to close it up, you've actually got an extra chain here. So don't get caught up with that because you'll end up having um, an extra stitch. So what I like to do is I know that I did seven single crochets after my chain. So when I work back, I like to, I like to count seven stitches. So I've counted seven stitches here. I've done seven stitches along. And then I know that the very next, um, what looks like a stitch, is actually my chain, okay? And then the next one will be the popcorn stitch, okay? So I miss that chain, and the next one will be the popcorn stitch. And if you're not quite sure, then count the rest. Remember, we did 14 at the start of this row. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so that's how you know um, how many you've got and where your um, chain one is to miss that one out. Okay, because you, if not, you're going to be adding stitches to your row and then the next row won't work out quite correctly. Okay, so work um, to the end of this row and then um, we'll be turning our work. Okay, see you in a moment, guys. Okie dokie, I've done that row and I've done my chain one and turned my work. And now you are going to repeat the row that we had with the popcorn stitch. So you're going to do 14 single crochets along and then you're going to do your popcorn stitch. Now I will show you this popcorn stitch um, again um, and then um, because there's several rows that repeat, um, I'll show you this popcorn stitch once more on the next row and then um, I'll leave you to do the next few rows. So do 14 single crochets along and then we'll do the popcorn stitch. Okay, so 14 single crochets and now it's time for our popcorn stitch. So insert your hook into the next stitch just there and then you're going to do four single crochets into this same stitch so one two oops two three and four single crochets into that same stitch okay you've got these four single crochets here and then pull up this loop so you don't lose it, pull up that loop and then go into your first single crochet of this group. So one, two, three, four. You see that? One, two, three, four. I'm just counting back into your first stitch. Pop that loop back on your hook and pull it down. And there we go. So you've got the um, first single crochet on your hook plus your original loop and then you're going to slip that loop through the first stitch pull that tight and then do a chain to close and there you go there's your next popcorn stitch right above your original one so I've put this down here you've got your two little knobbly popcorn stitches if I can zoom in can you see that there there we go two little popcorn stitches and they're really cute there we go nice cute little bobbly stitches okay so that's how you do your popcorn stitches four single crochets take out your hook and then into your first one and pull that loop through and then do your chain and then you're going to do oh, zoom out again here we go uh, not in. zoom out there we go okay and then you're going to do your seven single crochets along to finish the row uh, you don't need to watch me do that so seven single crochets along the row okay and then as before you're going to single crochet all the way back along and don't forget when you um, turn to your chain and then count your stitches back seven stitches 
and then you'll know the next one is your chain so avoid that and then go into the next stitch which is your popcorn stitch and then you've got 14 along so seven miss your chain and then basically you've got the next 15 okay so you're going to do that and then i'll meet you back at the other end so we have our first two rows of popcorns i think they're really cute really cute and now what we're going to do we need to have five of these in a row uh in a column should we say column these are rows this is a column so we need five of these on top of each other so what you're going to do is repeat this row another three times so you're going to um turn your work do 14 stitches and then a popcorn and then seven stitches so 14 popcorn don't forget to do that final chain do your then do seven turn your work do a plain row of single crochet and then turn your work do another row of 14 a popcorn and seven and keep going back and forth with a plain row and a popcorn row until you've got five popcorns in um, above each other there okay and I will meet you back when we've got five popcorns and a plain row on top okay see you in a bow so here we go here's our row or column of them um, are five little popcorn stitches you can see them from side there can you see from the side there we go so five little popcorn stitches and i've done my final um plain row on top there well not my final row but um there we go and now we are going to do our next row which is when we're going to do the um the the part of the F that comes over, um, I don't know what you call that, um, the arm, the arm of the F, <laughs> um, we'll call it the arm of the F. Um, so do your chain one to turn, and then you're going to do 10 single crochet stitches. So 10 single crochets across. Um, so do those 10 single crochets, and then um, I'll meet you back again. Okay, so 10 single crochets, and now what you're going to do, you're going to do three popcorn stitches, but you're going to do one single crochet in between each. So we'll do this together. Don't forget, you can slow it down either up there or down there. You can pause. Um, okay, so we're going to do a single, po uh, sorry, we're going to do a popcorn stitch. So remember, that's our four single crochets. Two, three, Four, pull up a loop one two three four just get you started on this row pull that down and then pull that through that first loop make a chain okay and then you're going to do a single crochet next to that so popcorn then a single crochet and then you're going to do a popcorn stitch in the next one and then you're going to do a single crochet in the next and then you're going to do a popcorn in the next and your final popcorn should be then um, above this um, these five okay so do a pop so you've got one popcorn then a single crochet another popcorn single crochet and another popcorn okay and then you're going to do your final seven um, single crochet along that row okay um, and then you're going to do your uh, row of single crochet back so three popcorns with a single crochet in between finish the row and then work back and I will meet you at the other end okay so I've done that row and I thought I would just help you work back along this row um, because you've got your three popcorn stitches here and just to help you along um, to remember where to go in for your stitches so you don't end up creating more stitches um, if you need that um, little bit of help there so do your chain one to turn do your seven single crochets you know you've got seven there so do seven single crochets and I'll see you after seven single crochets. 
Okay, so you've done your seven single crochets as we always do. And then you know that this next piece, I don't know if you can see it enough, but this next piece we know is actually your chain at the top of your popcorn stitch, okay? So miss that chain, go into the next one, which will be the top of your popcorn stitch. Do your single crochet there. And then you know you've got a single crochet in between. So you can do that one, that's fine. And then the next um, loop that you have, you know that's your chain. So go into the next one and that will be the top of your popcorn stitch. You've got a plain one in between, so go into that. So again, the next one will be your chain. Go into the one next to that. And then you should have 14 stitches left. Let's just double check, shall we? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, sorry, yes, 10. We have 10 stitches. So that's how you just need to work your way back systematically about whether it's um, popcorn or a chain and just count your way back. Um, so you know that you're going into the right stitches, okay? So do these 10 stitches back and I will meet you at the end of the row. So we've done the arm of our, um, our F, letter F, and now we need to do a couple more of this um, body, should we call it the body? This is the body, this is the arm, and then we'll have the hat going across. <laughs> Um, I don't know. <laughs> is there an official term? Um, so what you need to do now is you need two more of these bobble rows, popcorn rows. Um, so you're going to do your 14 and then your popcorn and then your 7 and then work back um, and then do another row. 14, popcorn, 7 and then another row back. And then I'll meet you ready for our final popcorn row. So two more of these rows, okay? And then I'll meet you back. Don't forget to do a plain row in between. And so here's what we've got going on. We're nearly there, guys. I know single crochet can seem very tedious and take a while, but it's worth it in the end. So here we go. So what we've got going on so far. So now we are going to uh, do a chain one and turn our work and then you want to do four single crochets, just four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and now this is the, <laughs> I think this is why I called the hat of the, um, of the F. So you're going to do five, uh, six, sorry, six popcorns, okay, so you're going to start with a popcorn here, and then just as you did down below for the arm, you are going to do, um, I've done it, three, do one more, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to do six, six popcorn stitches with um, a stitch in between just like you did down here so you'll do a popcorn and then you'll do a stitch next to it and then you'll do another popcorn and then you'll do another stitch next to it and you'll do six of these along your sixth popcorn will end here above all these others okay and then you'll do your usual seven single crochets and that will be the end of your letter F and then you just need to do two more rows to finish the square so you need to do these six popcorns work your way back remember what I said about um, count your seven and then you know the next one will be your chain um, and then the next one will be the popcorn stitch itself. And then go into the next one. And then you'll know the next one will be a chain. Work your way along like that systematically. And you'll reach the end. And then you'll do a chain of one. Um, turn it and do a row back. Okay, and I will meet you when you've done your final two plain rows.
Okay, so there is um, my F completed, and my two, um, just giving these a bit of a squeeze to push them out a bit. Um, one for my two plain rows, I forgot to say, you actually need to do four rows because we did four rows down here. So just to make it even, you just need to do two more rows and that will be the last of your single crochet rows, guys. Two more rows and that's the end of your single crochets. So that is now our F completed. And I think it's really cute with these little popcorn stitches. Um, now this doesn't quite, um, with the hook size that we've suggested, it doesn't come up to the um, 6 inches or 15 centimetres. Um, so what we are suggesting for this is that you do a border of a half double crochets. Um, so that will be uh, 22 half double crochets along the top. And we've actually got 22 rows here, so there will be 22 um, half double crochets along the sides. So if you look along the sides, you'll be going into every um, chain loop um, along these sides, okay? Um, or a single crochet stitch. So 22, so count them along. And then 22 uh, half double crochets along the bottom and 22 back along the top um the sides sorry so if you um if you have a loose attention and it's already the size you wish then um fab go ahead and you will probably want to block this square because it likes to curl up so um i'm going to do that round of half double crochets now and um, i'll show you the result at the end so there we go guys, there it is with um, the half double crochet border and um, I've just done, um, I think I did a chain um, to take it around the corners, um, you could do three half double crochets in the corners if you wish um, and it is just about the right size now so um, just with a bit of blocking, a bit of stretching it will um, be exactly the right size and I've just gone from behind and just pushed my um, popcorns out to make them stand and that bit more so there you go um, there's your F for February and um, what a great month it's been it's um, been full of pink and red and valentines and hearts and all those gorgeous things so um, there you go guys I um, hope you've enjoyed this square if you have found this video useful please give us a thumbs up and um, if you haven't already subscribed click on that subscribe button and all the details of our group are in that description box below and um, we'd love to see your squares we'd love to see photos and um, you can get all the patterns and daily uploads of uh, the new squares so until next time guys just keep hooking and do not let your tea get cold <laughs>